Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope everybody is doing well and had a great weekend. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time. Uh, in fact, when I first started getting into Docker, uh, I had a lot of requests for people or from people to make this video. So uh, what we're gonna do is take a look at installing WordPress. And the reason I took so long to do this is originally the idea of a reverse proxy uh, was just kind of beyond my scope of understanding on how to get it to work. But now uh, that I've got a pretty good understanding of how to use traffic and Nginx proxy manager, uh, uh, and those kinds of uh, reverse proxies. Today, we're gonna take a look at installing WordPress uh, on our machine and getting it uh, set up so that the world can access it uh, from basically anywhere. But in order to do that, we're gonna need a couple of things. Uh, the first is a domain name and the second is a Cloudflare account. So as I mentioned, the first thing that we're gonna need is a domain name. Uh, and what's great about this is actually today's video is sponsored by Porkbun. Now, Porkbun does a lot of things from domain names to hosting, uh, websites, as well as email, that sort of thing. I primarily use them just to purchase domain names uh, for a couple of key reasons. The first is they are the cheapest place online that I have found to buy a domain name. Uh, normally, if you go to a lot of competitor sites, you're gonna pay 10 to $15 for just a .com. Uh, I've actually purchased several domain names uh, from Porkbun for uh, $5 or less. And what's great about Porkbun is they respect your privacy. So they add domain privacy to your domain when you purchase it for free. And most other uh, domain name competitors will charge you a fee for that, 10, 20 bucks, uh, to hide all of your personal information. Because when you buy a domain name, by default, your name, address, uh, phone number, and email address are all made public. Um, and that's, in today's society, that's not good. So Porkbun, uh, has jumped ahead of everything and they've made sure that all of your uh, information stays safe and secure. So there will be a link in the description for you to go check them out. Uh, definitely do that. It would really mean a lot if you go down there, check out their site um, and just see what a great company they really are. So do me a favor, click the link in the description down below to check out Porkbun. So now that you've bought your domain name, um, the next thing that you're gonna need to do is actually set up a Cloudflare account. So I've already got an account set up and that's what I'm going to use. Uh, you can sign up for a free account. There's no charge. They never ask for a credit card. Um, it's all totally free. There are paid options, but for what we're gonna do, you can totally use the free option and, and not have to worry about any issues. So uh, what we're gonna do first uh, is we're gonna come over to Porkbun here. Uh, here you can see I've got uh, nine or 10 domains uh, that most of them are blurred out because it's none of your business. Um, but this last one right here, I just bought yesterday. It's dbtech.xyz. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to come over here to uh, Cloudflare and I'm going to click on add a site. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in there. So what it's going to do is go through a bit of a process uh, to find the domain name uh, online, see where it's registered, that sort of thing. And it's going to look up a bunch of records. Uh, once it's done with that, um, the first thing it's gonna do is ask which plan you want to use. Uh, we're gonna use the free plan because we can do that uh, and it will work perfectly for what we're trying to do here. So the next thing we'll do is we'll click on confirm plan. So now it's gonna scan for DNS records and that sort of thing. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. Now, because I just purchased the, this domain yesterday and haven't touched it yet, this is all going to be default information from Porkbun. So any of the IP addresses or any of that kind of stuff that you see in here, they're not mine. Uh, these are, oh, okay, so they don't actually have uh, any uh, records in there, and that's fine. Uh, this is perfectly fine as well. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on add a record, um, and then we're gonna go over here. Um, we're going to add an A record to start. Um, and we're just going to say at, um, and then we're going to put in our home's IP address. Now, if you don't know what your IP address is at home, uh, you can just uh, open a tab here and just say uh, my IP and Google will tell you what your IP address is. I just have to remember to blur this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna close here. Uh, I'm gonna paste that in there. Again, I hope I remember to, to do both of those. Uh, I'm gonna turn, uh, turn the proxy off so that it's DNS only for the time being, and then I'll click save. <clears throat> so once we have that, that's really all we need for the time being. So what we can do is click continue. And right here, you can see the default uh, name servers that are set up by Porkbun. What we're gonna do is replace these four with these two. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oops, I'm gonna copy all of that. 
going to come back over to pork bun. I'm going to click on details. Uh, this will expand out here in just a moment. And then we can click on edit under authorita authoritative name servers. Uh, that will all populate. So then we can come back over here. Oops. And uh, we'll paste that in there and we'll click submit. And now these have been updated. So we can come back over here and say done, check name server. So we'll click that. Uh, SSL encryption is set to full, that's fine. Uh, you may wanna play around with between flexible and full uh, just to get things started, but full should be fine uh, to get things started here. Uh, we do wanna have uh, HTTPS on uh, always. Uh, that's just a good thing to have uh, to automatically force a URL to roll over to HTTPS if you've got a URL using an SSL. Um, everything else you can pretty much leave alone, so we'll go ahead and click on done. Um, so it said, hey, uh, change these just to make sure. Go ahead and rate check now. All right, so it's in a queue. It's gonna take some time to check. So while this is doing its thing, now we can move over to installing WordPress. So uh, you are probably familiar with WordPress at this point. Uh, it, it actually uh, runs a about half of the internet, I think last time I saw. Uh, it's a very cool content management system, uh, easy to use, easy to develop for. Uh, I used to be a WordPress developer. Uh, most of the guy did themes and functionality and that sort of thing. Uh, I loved it, uh, been using it for years. Uh, still use it for basically all of my websites these days. Uh, so what's cool is they've actually got a, a Docker Compose over here on hub.docker.com. So we can scroll down and we can actually uh, grab this right here, uh, all the way down and copy that and then come over to Portainer and paste it in. Now, you can see I've already got this here. Now, there are some changes that I made uh, to this uh, to this uh, stack here. So the first thing we'll notice is version 3.1, I changed to 2.1. Uh, there was nothing in here uh, that told me that we needed a version three, so I changed it. Um, also below that, the restart, and just drag this over here. It's set to always, that's fine. Uh, you could probably set that to uh, unless stopped and not have any issues there. Um, and then um, I changed port 8080 to 8181 because I already had some stuff on 8080. Um, so you can change this port to whatever you'd like it to be. Um, all of this uh, is pretty much the same. Uh, you'll probably wanna change your username and password and database name uh, up here. But when you do that, uh, make sure you change it uh, in these three spots uh, right here as well. And uh, then we've got volumes. Now this is where your uh, WordPress instance will be hosted on your server. Uh, if you plan on having like a, a site with a lot of pictures, that sort of thing, uh, definitely make sure you put this on a hard drive that's got a lot of space available. So uh, that's where we're gonna store this for right now. Uh, below that, I've added this link uh, for DB right here. We're gonna uh, make sure that we link the database. And so I actually didn't know about this until I got an email the other day. Uh, somebody sent me an email, the contact form on my phone or on my on my website, also uh, made on WordPress uh, from Giovanni Folco. I hope I'm pronouncing that last name correctly, but Giovanni, uh, sorry, Giovanni, man, you're having a morning. So Giovanni Folco emailed me and was like, hey, you can do this thing uh, where you link the database this way and it will solve a lot of your problems. And he was, Right, holy crap, uh, huge, huge help uh, with this right here. Uh, below that, uh, we've just got the database uh, container here. Again, uh, if you if you change the username and passwords up here, uh, make sure you change it here. Uh, this last entry is to give uh, the, the root user just a random password that you're never gonna know. You don't need to know it. Um, and then we've got some volumes down here. Uh, so once we've got all of this, what we can do is scroll down and click on update the stack or deploy the stack as the case may be, uh, since you guys will have uh, not done this yet. So once we've got that, uh, we can take a look at the logs, uh, make sure everything looks good. Uh, Apache in the foreground is good. Uh, so let's go back. Let's take a look at our database. That looks good. So let's go ahead and click here. Cool. So. This is the installation screen. So what we wanna do is actually stop right here. We don't wanna do anything else. Uh, what we wanna do uh, is make sure that uh, dbtech.xyz uh, is up and running. So let's take a look at the DNS here. Uh, that still looks uh, good. Uh, you shouldn't be able to see any of that. That's, uh, that's good. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, let's come back over to Nginx Proxy Manager. Let's add a proxy host. Uh, this is going to be dbtech.xyz. 
like so. And the IP address uh, for my Panda server is 192.168.1.30. And I believe we're on 8181, but let me verify that we are. Uh, so I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna click on block common exploits, uh, SSL. I'm gonna request a new one. I'm gonna force, uh, if you've seen my previous videos, we're gonna have to come back in here and uh, re-enable the force and the HTTP2. Uh, but let's go ahead and click on save. Hopefully our DNS will have, will have had enough time uh, to do what it needs to do in here. Nope, it has not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause. Uh, I'm gonna pause for just a moment, and then I'm gonna come back here in just a little while uh, to finish this up. Okay guys, so it's been a few minutes. Uh, I think everything has switched over. The domain name should be pointing uh, from Porkbun over to Cloudflare, uh, and then of course from Cloudflare to my home. So what we're gonna do just real quick here uh, is we're going to uh, grab this URL. We're just gonna paste that in there. All right, so here we can see that we've got Nginx proxy manager. So that's a good thing. Uh, that means everything is pointed uh, to my home the way it should be. So what I should be able to do now uh, is actually come back over here, add a proxy host. Uh, we're going to, uh, we're, oops, let's uh, let's come back over to here. Uh, let's go ahead and paste that domain name back in there. And of course, uh, dot 30, and I think we did that on 8181. So we're gonna block this and go over here and request that and check those two boxes like we did a minute ago and click save. All right, so that seems to have worked. Uh, let's go find uh, the one that we just created right here. Uh, let's go over here and click on edit, go back to SSL. And again, for some reason, we'll have to check those back on. So we'll click save now. And now we should be able to refresh and now we've got our WordPress installation screen here. So we can go ahead and click on continue. Uh, we're gonna call this IDB uh, tech, oops. Wow, uh, X, Y, Z, just because. Uh, we're going to hide that. Uh, and I'll put in my uh, email address, uh, david at dbtechreviews.com. Dot com, and you can check that whether you'd like it to be uh, indexed or not by search engines. And we'll go ahead and click on install. And now we can go ahead and log in. We'll click on log in and we'll say DB tech, like so. Uh, we'll go ahead and undo that. So now it looks like we've got some updates to run. That's probably a good place to start. So we'll go ahead and do that. Perfect, we'll return to the updates page. So we've got a couple of themes to update. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, all of this is updating perfectly. So we know that everything is working the way that it's supposed to. Uh, but let's just for the sake of it, uh, let's add a new plugin just to make sure everything is gonna work here. Um, I'm a big fan of, um, oh, let's say I disable comments. Uh, so that one I've used a lot in the past. So let's go ahead and do that. That seems to have worked. We'll click on activate. Great. So now we can go to the configuration page. We're going to say disable comments everywhere and click save. Um, so then let's go to posts. Let's add a new post. And, um, ooh, you know what? Screw that. I, I, I hate the new Gutenberg thing. So let's add one more plugin. And we'll say uh, disable, disable Gutenberg. And uh, we'll give this a second to load up. That is not what I said to do. Try that again, there we go. Uh, so now install now. Uh, I love this plugin. I use it on all of the new sites that I release because uh, I really hate the new Gutenberg editor. I would rather use a page builder editor or something else. Uh, okay, so now we can go back to posts. We can click on add a new post. Hey, that looks much better. So db uh, tech.xyz test post. Uh, I'm going to uh, do this. Oops, lip like that. I'll grab a couple of paragraphs here, like so. Paste that in there. All of that looks great. Uh, let's set a featured image. 
uh, just to make sure that we've got uh, images working here. Um, let's go to pictures. Sure, why not? We'll just use that as a featured image. That all looks good. We'll say it's uncategorized. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and publish that. But we need to change our uh, our permalinks. So let's go to permalinks. Uh, let's set that by post name. Um, let's do month. Yeah, month and name. That should be fine. We'll go ahead and click save. Now, if we go back, take a look at the home page. All right. So this seems to be working. We've got our post here. Uh, everything seems to be working there. Let's make sure that our uh, URL structure works. It looks like it is. So we've got WordPress installed. We're on our own domain name here. We've got an SSL uh, that in this case is being uh, handled by Let's Encrypt. Uh, oh, the other thing that we want to do just for an added layer of security here is go back to Cloudflare and go back over here, click DNS, change it to proxied and click save. And that will obfuscate your IP address so they can't find out what your home IP address is. Now, if we ping, uh, dbtech.xyz, we're gonna get a Cloudflare IP address rather than my home address. So that's why I like to use Cloudflare. Okay guys, so there's one more plugin that we're going to install uh, just to avoid any issues with SSL and that sort of thing. So what we're gonna do is go up here to add SSL and we're gonna say uh, in secure content. Uh, we'll give this a second. Uh, SSL insecure content fixer. We're gonna install that and then we'll go ahead and activate it. And uh, then what we'll do is go over here to settings and secure content right there. Uh, we're gonna do capture all. Uh, like it says here, it's the big, biggest potential to break things, but it's sometimes necessary. That's fine, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, we're gonna select this because that's the detected recommended setting. And then we'll click save changes. Uh, and that should keep us from having issues uh, like this later on. Uh, I actually uh, was doing some testing and realized that I was having this issue uh, so now if I go ahead and refresh, uh, there we go. Uh, so we want to make sure that we uh, also install that insecure content fixer plugin. So there you go, guys. There is how to set up WordPress, uh, go through the full installation process, get it set up on your next proxy manager and Cloudflare. Of course, in order to do that, we have to have a domain name. And like I said earlier, uh, this video is being sponsored by Pork Bun. So big shout out to them. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me that uh, since I've been using them for so long, uh, they're willing to take a risk on me and, uh, uh, and, and help out the channel here just a little bit. So again, do me a favor. It'd be great if you guys would check out uh, the pork bun link that's in the description. Uh, again, they're sponsoring me. So the more you guys go check them out, uh, the more likely they are to, uh, to continue to help me in the future. So uh, yeah, go check them out. I think that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to say in this video. Uh, we bought, we took a look at uh, getting a new, dom new domain name, pointing it to Cloudflare, pointing Cloudflare to home, setting up Nginx Proxy Manager to work with that domain name, and installing WordPress. We covered quite a bit in this video. Uh, if you found the video helpful, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. Really helps me out a ton. It lets me know you guys are interested in this kind of content. Um, but again, like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.